Doja. Doja girl, Amala. What is you doing? What is you doing, girl? I thought we just spoke about this. Oh, what? What is this? What you? What you? What? Satan got you out here doing the most. He got you looking crazy, climbing on walls like you a monkey or something. Like, sis, what? Tell me, what did Satan promise you? What did he promise you? Because I can tell you right now, sis, that whatever he promised you, fame, fortune, I don't know, followers, whatever it is, it's nothing in compared to what God has for you if you choose to engage with him if you choose to go with God if you choose to repent and start walking in your salvation first off it's God okay he has no rival he has no equal and you got Satan he a fallen angel he down here girl he down here girl he fronting he lying okay he's like well I can give you the word I can give you all of this he can only give you stuff that's here in the natural and guess what all of this is fading away it's it's finna die okay you are an eternal being. Once all of this goes away and dies and sheds and everything dies in this natural world, you have an eternal being living on the inside of you. And that internal being after all of this ends is either going to go to heaven or hell with Satan. Okay? None of the people around you are going to tell you this because they're going to encourage you. Your fans are going to encourage you. People are calling you a creative genius. And girl, you are. God has blessed you with a skill to write songs, to, to sing and rap. You may be misusing them. You're using it for the wrong kingdom. He would like for you to use them for the kingdom of light, for his kingdom. But all of these people, all of this, the, the love that you're getting, they will love you straight to hell. And that's what they're doing. None of them love you enough to tell you the truth, which is that you keep on this path, girl. Spiritual death, okay? Spiritual death. Satan is a liar, okay? So whatever he is whispering to you at night, when you're in the recording booth, when you're writing, Satan is lying to you. He does not want to see you prosper. He doesn't want you to make it into the kingdom, into God's kingdom. You have authority over him. Now, I don't think a lot of people realize that. I didn't even realize that. that you, we have authority over Satan. We have authority over hell. We have authority over demons. That's why he trolls us so much. That's why he hates us. Jesus. Because God, our loving Father, has given us dominion and authority over Satan, over demons. We have authority over him. So what are like you answering to him and doing what he's he he asking you to do? Jokes aside and me being serious, Satan does not love you. Satan does not want the best for you. John 10:10 10, 10 in the Bible says that Satan's intention, his function is to steal, to kill and destroy. He wants to destroy your life. He wants to destroy you. He wants to keep you away from eternal life. He wants to keep you away from knowing who you are. And the only way that you will find out who you truly are is when you surrender, you repent, and you turn to God. Say, God, I am done. I have friends who are still in Hollywood. And one of my friends who don't even know about God, but she even said it. She said, there's nothing in this life. I go to all the Hollywood parties. I date the celebrities. And she dated a big actor. And she said, my life internally is miserable. I'm not happy. It's all a facade. Like you go home still with the internal issues, with the demons that you're wrestling with because Satan cannot solve those things. He's not the cure for it. God is. And the only way to find out who you truly are, who he's created his daughter to be, Amala, who he's created you to be, is if you dive into his word. You repent, you turn away, from that life and you turn to God and say, God, I am sorry. I was deceived, but I'm no longer in agreement with Satan. I don't care about anything that's in this world. I care about you because it is a fact. Jeremiah 29, 11, it's a fact. It's a truth that he has plans for you. He has a plan and you are a part of that plan, Amala, if you choose to be a part of it. Don't perish for the lack of knowledge. Don't perish end up going to hell all because of this temporary life for the fame the cars the money that's only here to satisfy our flesh 
but we have an eternal being we have a spirit that lives on forever for eternity and it's up to us because we have a gentleman as our God who allows us to choose whether we want to be with him forever or reject him and to reject God the result is being in hell so sis I'm coming at you with all the love that's in my heart because I do not want you to perish I'm praying for you and all my brothers and my sisters who are blood bought believers let's continue to keep Amala uplifted in prayer and that God sends someone anointed to minister to her directly and let's pray that she has ears to hear spiritual ears to hear and heart to receive God's word and to see and know the truth that God loves her and let's pray that that creates an insatiable desire within her to go and be in God's presence, to want to chase after him and to read his word and discover who she really is. Because that's what I'm learning. God is teaching me who I truly am. You are important to me, Amala Doja Cat. I need to survive. Well, I don't need you to survive, girl. But I love you though. <laughs> Bye.